everyone so today it's my pleasure to bring you this amazing recipe it is the zucchini or courgette depending on which part of the world you're from and i'm going to show you how to make this to food simplicity and vitality this is a food and lifestyle channel where we cook together and we stay well together guys hello to my existing subscribers and if you're new today i ask that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will always know when i upload a video which will be relevant to you and your good health so yes today i'm going to show you this um courgette and cheese bake now guys this recipe is very good if you've fallen off your fitness or your healthy eating and you want to bring some vegetables back into your diet so i've served it two ways i've served it with some rice and i've also served it with some salad so guys without further delay let's jump into the video okay, so you know i like to show you all the ingredients that we need in advance for this superb recipe so we're going to need two medium-sized courgette which we will grate two medium-sized carrots i've got an onion here which we will slice two bell peppers one red one yellow but please use whichever colors you have i've got five eggs there i've also got the parmesan cheese and i've got feta cheese so we'll also be needing the seasonings i'm going to use salt black pepper garlic granules and my favorite extra virgin olive oil so let's show you how we'll begin by grating the two courgettes now these are the medium size uh, courgettes and once they've been grated i'm transferring them as you can see to a nice pyrex dish so that we can set that aside what i decided to do was to sprinkle some sea salt over the courgette and set it aside for 10 minutes now the salt will help to extract the water from the vegetable and we'll set that aside for 10 minutes and now we're going to boil the two eggs just boil these for eight minutes and now you can see i've got the bell peppers which i've cut in half i'm using half yellow or half red and i'm going to slice these into tiny little slices little square dice like so and do the same thing for the yellow ones i'm also going to slice my onions very similar to the way i sliced the pepper very tiny and put those all together and do the same thing for the carrot in half first of all then down the middle and cut them into little square however you can do that now when the eggs are ready i'm going to set those aside to cool down now at this point the courgette would have absorbed most of the salt and we're ready to extract as much of the liquid from it as we can I've got a muslin cloth which I've placed over a bowl and I'm going to empty my courgettes onto my muslin cloth and I'm going to squeeze as much of the water out of the courgette as I can. So you put it all in, gather up the side so that's in a nice little bundle there and now I'm going to squeeze. You can see how much water is coming out of these courgettes. Keep squeezing and get as much as you can out. Once you've done that, you can now put this in a bowl and we're going to season our courgettes. So I started by putting in some salt and then some black pepper. And I added some garlic granules. Now you can season this as much as you like with all your favorite seasonings. And as long as it's nice and tasty as you like it. And I put some garlic as I've said, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put in 
a little bit of um, cayenne pepper. I'm ready now to put the egg in. So you'll crack one egg once you've seasoned and mix that together. And that's what it will look like, really gooey. And I get my tray. Now guys, I'm only gonna use eight of these trays. And I'm going to line them with some olive oil. And this is the mixture. Now we're going to make a case, a case so that we can put the filling in. So you'll see that I'm putting the, about one tablespoon of the courgette mixture and I'm pressing the mixture against the side, leaving a little hole um, like that, like a pastry case. And so that we're going to bake this in the oven now for 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead now and prepare the filling. Now we chopped all our vegetables already. So we've put in a tablespoon of olive oil in our frying pan. Add in the onions first of all and softening those. Then I'm going to add the bell peppers. Mix that together and soften. Add some garlic. At this point seasoning again. Yes, some salt. Black pepper and make that nice and tasty. Those are the peppercorns there. And continue to stir this through. I did so for about 10 minutes. And now I'm adding the carrot. All the carrots are in there. And in total, I kept this on the cooker for about 10 minutes. So when everything is combined and I'm going to set that aside. Now you can see that the uh, courgettes come out and this is formed of the case um, that we're going to put our fillings in. They look really gorgeous. Now guys, I did go ahead and blend my fillings a little bit more. I felt it would be softer and easier to put in the courgettes. So there you go, I've got my filling there. And now what I'm doing, I'm mixing that through like so, and I'm now going to uh, slice my egg. Now I've sliced it down the middle and I'm going to discard the yolk. And I'll do this for both the eggs, just discard the yolk part, you can use that for something else. And you can see I've sliced up the egg quite small, gone ahead now and got the feta cheese. And I'm going to chop these cheese in half into tiny pieces so that I can add them to my mixture. So we're chopping those nice and small. And now you can see I'm adding that to the vegetables. We're going to mix that together and um, like so, mix, mix, mix. And at this stage, I'm going to add my final egg and crack that in there like so and mix that through and get it nice and bind together. Add a little bit more seasoning. At this point, you'll know just how much you'll need. But it, the more spices you add, the more tasty it will be, guys. And I really like my spice on my food. So that's really nice. You can see I'm just mixing it together with a wooden spoon. And now I'm ready to transfer them to the courgette base. And these, at this point, they're cool and they are ready to go in. So I've placed them all in there, like so. 
and I'm ready now to add the cheese. Now this is the Parmesan cheese. And you're just going to sprinkle that on top, on all of them, and then that will be ready again for the oven. And now this time, I'm going to put them in the oven for 15 minutes. Now this is what they look like when they come out, guys. They're crispy and the cheese is baked on. They look absolutely delicious. <laughs> I hope you like them. Now, after 10 minutes of cooling down, you'll see they come out of the case quite well. They don't stick at all. And I'm going to pick this one up, even though it's really hot, just to show you the top and the base. Oops, really, really hot. <laughs> Now, what I decided to do was to serve this one with the salad. So I've got a mix of a salad there with some tomatoes and I'm adding the courgette bake. That's amazing. That's one version. You can have it with the salad. And you guys, you will see in my previous video that I did make that cucumber and yogurt dip which really goes amazingly well with this and another version how you can serve your courgette bake is with some rice again salad but this time you if you want to feel a bit more full up you can add the rice and i've got some fried planting as well with that so it's lettuce tomatoes planting and rice doesn't that look amazing and it is really tasty so you've got two variety there guys that you can decide how you're going to serve them up so there you have it i think it is time to taste this delicious food so this is the best part this is taste time now i'm going to have mine with a little bit of the salad and i'm going to go for my planting with it and I'm going to cut down the middle. Now guys, I love courgettes and I just thought this was a wonderful way to have it. And it's got eggs in it as well. And you'll see from my previous video that I made this amazing yogurt and cucumber sauce, which we're going to serve also. So let's taste. Add a little bit of sauce. Mm absolutely delicious guys let me know in the comments if you try this recipe and let me know if you have any alternatives to this recipe but for now i'm going to enjoy this amazing meal and i will see you in my next video